What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. And today, man, I'm going to talk about a couple of the early games, man. You had the Washington Redskins beating the New York Giants 20 to 13. And you had the Pittsburgh Steelers beating the Cleveland Browns 33 to 18, man. First off, with the Washington Redskins and the New York Giants, man. You know, shout out to the Redskins. I don't like y'all. I don't like the Giants. Y'all in my division. I can't stand none of y'all. But shout out to the Redskins for getting the win on the road, 20-13. to 13. It was a very, very boring game with not much offense at all. I mean, Adrian Peterson out there running his ass off, though, man. I must, I must say, you know, AP, man, like, as long as he out there running the ball like that, you know, the Redskins got a, a pretty decent defense. They're going to make a lot of games ugly. They're going to try to win a lot of games like 24 to 20, 20 to 13, 21 to 17. You know, that's the type of team the Redskins are, man. They're not going to put up a bunch of points on you, but they want to make the game ugly, man. They want to control the clock by running the ball with AP and playing solid defense, man. Like basically 1995 type of football, you know. It's worked for them up to this point for the most part. They got a 5-2 and two record. You know what I'm saying? They're leading the NFC East right now. As far as for the New York Giants, man, like, it's just really bad to watch Eli Manning out there right now, man. Like, the Giants, they, y they won in seven, man. I know they love Eli. I know they love him. They're going to always be thankful for the two Super Bowls he got. I remember last year when um, Bob McAdoo benched him for a game, all the backlash that they got for that, like, how dare you bench Eli Manning and all this other stuff. But if I was the Giants organization, man, you got to start, start evaluating these younger quarterbacks y'all have, man. Because this should and, and has to be Eli Manning's last year playing quarterback for the New York Giants, man. You got a receiver like Odell Beckham Jr. You got a running back like Saquon Barkley. You got a solid tight end like Evan Ingram. You got a solid number two receiver like Sterling Shepard. And I, and I understand it ain't all Eli Manning fault. You know, the offensive line is pretty garbage as well. But my goodness, man, like, it doesn't help, too, that Eli can't even move, man. He can't, he, he can't really throw the ball consistently down the field. And he can't move. You get around him, you blow on Eli, Eli going to fall down and fold like a chair, man. I mean, it, it's really bad to watch, man. And, I mean, as an Eagles fan, I love that they suck. But as a football fan, it's like it's pretty bad to see a talented wide receiver and talented running back that they have, you know, once-in-a-lifetime type of uh, talents basically get wasted in such a putrid offense. You know what I'm saying? With such a, a bad offensive line and such a, a over-the-age, overrated right now quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Then you had the Pittsburgh Steelers and the, uh, beating the Cleveland Browns 33-18. Cleveland Browns, you know, they 2-5-1, and one, man. They didn't, their offense didn't look too high today. Baker got beat up a little bit. You know, but he a rookie. You know what I'm saying? I was never a big Baker Mayfield fan, but I do believe in him a little bit more than I did going into the draft. You know, he's an accurate quarterback, and he plays with a lot of confidence, and he has a big heart over there. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was kind of a learning thing today, going on the road, playing against Pittsburgh, who's, you know, starting to play really well now and starting to kind of separate themselves a little bit in that AFC North, man. You know, after such a slow start, it looked like they're starting to try to get control of that division again. But, yeah, um, they, they got Jarvis Landry over there building block. You know, they got young players, Nick Chubb, Baker Mayfield, Antonio Callaway. They got three rookies out there getting a whole lot of playing time. David Njoku, just a second-year tight end. You know, they're they going to be all right in the future, man. You know, they just got to, you know, they got to just continue to develop their young team. I don't know if Hugh Jackson is the man for this job, honestly. I don't know if he the one that's going to get this thing rolling for them. But um, they got to just, you know, wait a couple of years, man, and they're going to be pretty solid if they develop their young talent the right way. Which comes for me, which comes to the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. See James Conn out there. 140-something yards, two touchdowns. Cincinnati, he did pretty good their last game also. Atlanta, he did pretty doggone good. 
Pittsburgh Steelers. Listen to me. Listen to me clearly. Y'all have y'all apparently a running back. Y'all don't want to give Le'Veon Bell a long-term deal for whatever reason. Maybe because y'all believed in James Conner all along and y'all know he's significantly cheaper. But apparently y'all got a running back, man. Y'all got a running back in James Conner. Le'Veon Bell sitting out there, chilling, really nothing to do, hanging out, trying to see what's up, want to get his contract. Let me get him out of it. Let me, let me take Le'Veon Bell off your hands, man. Y'all don't want him, obviously. Y'all don't want him. Y'all, y'all good with James Conner. Y'all starting to win football games. Man, let me get Le'Veon Bell up out of, off your hands, man. You know? Because we, I feel like we are running back away from, like, really getting this thing rolling again. I know our secondary ain't all that hot, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like if we could control the ball a little more and score a little more points, you know, and, and, have, and play with the lead a lot more, I feel like our secondary going to play better and our pass rush once we get Timmy Jernigan again back going to be a little better and more consistent. You know, um, receivers, I feel like they're okay, but once we get Mac Hollins and it's still an outside chance we get Mac, Mike Wallace back late in the year, you know, we good. we inside there looking good, looking healthy. You know, I'm a little worried about what's up with Lane Johnson, man, but um, we need a running back, man, you know. We could kind of look similar to the last year, you know. But um, let me get Le'Veon Bell up off of y'all, man. Y'all don't need him. Y'all don't want him. Let him come over here to the champs, man. So we could, um, we'll find a way to pay him. We'll find a way to give him his long-term deal. Y'all could go on. We could take that stress off your hands. Y'all got James Conner. Y'all could roll with him. Man, let us get Le'Veon Bell up off your hands, man. Y'all obviously don't need him and don't want him. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but, but that's all I got for y'all today, man. I appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have NFL content, man, throughout the season, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.